In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make your footer sticky in Divi. Let's get started. So for this tutorial, I'll be using our free header and footer template, which you can find in the link provided in the video description below. Once you get to this page, all you need to do is download the files. Now I've already gone ahead and downloaded the files. So let's go ahead and install them. So here is the zipped file, which I've just downloaded. I'm going to double click on it. Okay, so this is the file that we're going to be using in a moment. I'm going to drag this over to the other side. Next, we want to come over here to Divi and then click on Theme Builder. Over here to the top right, we have Portability. I'm going to click here to install this and then click on Import. Now it's time to load our file into our importer. So I'm going to drag and drop it over here. Or you can navigate to this file manually by clicking over here. All right, so now that I've imported it, I'm going to click here on Import Divi Theme Builder Templates. And this is going to import to our library. So the next step is to make my template global. So I'm going to come over here, drag it to the other side to make it a global template. And I'm also going to do the same to the header. Now it's time to customize our footer. So I'm going to click on this pencil icon. All right, so let's make our footer sticky. So I'm going to come over here to this section and click on this gear icon. Next, I'm going to come over here to advanced, scroll all the way down to scroll effects. And then I'm going to click on this drop down and select stick to bottom. So what I'm going to do next is to add some padding both to the top and the bottom. So I'm going to come over here to design, click on spacing, making sure you have 30 both to the top and the bottom. The next step now is to click on this little icon here, click on the sticky option. And this time we want to add zero to the top and the bottom. So what happens is when we start scrolling, the size is going to reduce. All right. So now that I have these two set, I'm going to go ahead and save. Next, I'm going to go into my row settings. So I'm going to click on this gear icon and go into the first column. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to disable the first column when it comes to mobile devices. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to come over here to visibility and disable on phone. I'm going to hit save. Next, I'm going to go on to the third one. Click on this little gear icon. Click on advanced visibility, disable on phone and save. So the next step is to make our phone number here clickable. So I'm going to go into my settings by clicking on this gear icon. And then I'm just going to replace this with this code. So I'm going to paste my phone number in here and click save. I'm going to save the whole layout. I'm going to close out of here and then I'm going to hit save changes. All right. So let's see if what we've done works. So I'm on my page now. I'm going to start scrolling and you can see that it's stuck at the bottom. And once I get to the bottom there, it's going to expand and wait for it and here we go. So this is how it works. When you start scrolling, it shrinks and then it expands. And this is how you make your footer sticky at the bottom. If you love this tutorial, please leave a like and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. By doing so, you'll be notified when we release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.